Um, on behalf of Whitaker and Dupre Travel and Just Cruises Incorporated, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're talking with Royal Caribbean. We have Susan Prinzing. She's with us today to, to chat a little bit more and tell us all about Royal Caribbean. So Susan, take it away. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I am really touched that everyone is taking some time out of their day to learn about Royal Caribbean International and specifically family cruising, or you might be thinking about a multi-generational cruise. And we also have, we're really excited to keep telling our story about a perfect day at Coco Cay. Yes, so, we are uh, excited to hear it. Yeah. Oh, and I did want to mention too about questions. If you have questions, please put them into the chat box. There should be a chat box down at the end, at the bottom of your screen. And when you go into chat, make sure it says to everyone. If you click on the icon next to the word to, you can click everyone and go ahead and ask some questions. And then we'll have some time at the end to share those questions with Susan. Outstanding. All right. So those, some of you maybe online today have uh, been to one of Just Cruises travel shows and you might have seen my face. Um, I've actually been with a, a few cruise lines. I started 20 years ago. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, but I've uh, worked for different brands along the years and most recently six years with Royal Caribbean. So I'm a local uh, right here in Rochester. Uh, and of course, our headquarters are in Miami. So today I wanted to share, you know, a little bit about what we do so well in terms of really bringing all ages together on board. We are a brand that does so, so nicely um, you know, accommodate all different choices of what people want to do when they're on vacation, whether it's, you know, taking it slow and easy and doing a spa thing or chilling by the pool, or if you want to be active, uh, we certainly have so much to do uh, morning, noon, and well into the evening. So let's get started. And again, thank you to our hosts, uh, Just Cruises and Whitaker and Dupre for inviting me. I'm so excited to, uh, to take you guys into my world for a couple of minutes today. All right, so as we like to say, no one knows the Caribbean better than we do. It's literally in our name. So one of the things that we are unique in that, you know, we're a cruise line that is year round in the Caribbean. Of course, we don't have all of our ships. Uh, we have 26 ships in our fleet. We don't have all of our ships year round, but we do have a significant portion of those ships. Another thing that makes us unique when you even look at our sister company, uh, we have sister company Celebrity and Azamara and Silver Sea. So what we do is we offer you know cruises three, four, and five days in addition to seven days and even longer. Some people do uh, twelve day Caribbean cruises or back to back Caribbean cruises. But the idea that you could cruise for you know just a short amount of time, maybe three, four, or five days, just to literally dip your foot in the water to see how you how you feel about the whole cruising experience. And, you know, people always like to hang with the popular crowd. So we are extremely proud of our awards that we've won. I mean, 17 years running, best cruise line in the Caribbean, best cruise line overall. We're very proud of our entertainment. And our most recent ship, Symphony of the Seas, uh, just last year won best cruise ship. Um, and that's from our trade periodical, Travel Weekly. All right, so I thought this was important because certainly when I'm talking with my travel partners at Just Cruises and Whittaker and Dupre, and also uh, with you know friends and family, they're asking me, you know, what can you tell us about when are you guys going to be returning to service? What are you guys doing? So we are still behind the scenes working out, as you can imagine, right? We've got uh, you know a global presence all over and we're working with local governments uh, but we're also partnering with folks in the medical field and we are having just last week we met with the cdc all the local um or i should say the cruise line executives met with the cdc um, to just nail down a very consistent and robust very safe uh, return to service protocol for our crew as well as our passengers so we're i mean this is, it, there's nothing more important than the safety uh, of everyone involved. So um, we are still a few weeks away from rolling out our, our return to service protocols and how that will look in terms of what will it be like when you go to the terminal? What will be, the, what will be different? What will be the same? Uh, what, you know, touchless uh, 
you know, systems will we have in place in terms of checking in and also the onboard experience? How will that look when we go uh, to eat? What will the experience be like in the shows? I mean, all of this, um, you know, it's going to be a very detailed uh, program that we will roll out to our travel partners so that they can further educate you and um, answer your questions. So it's coming. We're not there yet. We don't have our, our official rollout, uh, but we are working uh Every, all hands on deck, so they speak, around the clock uh, with everything regarding, you know, as you can imagine, cleaning, sanitation, all of our air filters, uh, filtration systems in the cabins, on the ships, uh, health screenings. So while we don't have a firm plan, uh, just know that these are kind of some of the, you know, you roll the curtain back. This is kind of what's going on behind the scenes. The other question that we get too is about deployment. And, uh, and again, that is also uh, still to be determined. And I know that's, um, you know, our folks at Just Cruises and Whitaker and Dupre could just kind of shake their heads because, you know, they, they field questions all the time. You know, will my ship be sailing? Um, and it, it's, it's still, uh, we're still ironing out um, all those details. As you can imagine, there's a lot of parties involved uh, with that decision and, and cooperation with governments and so on. So more to come on that. Um, but just wanted to address that because I know that's got to be, you know, first and foremost, what are your plans to return? How will it look different? Um, and it's coming. But uh, just know that we are literally all hands on deck. And I think there will be definitely an industry standard. So for all of us in the cruise industry, we want uh, to do this right. And, um, you know, we will, we will make sure for sure, uh, nothing is more important than the health and safety of our crew and all of our, our lovely guests that we get to host for our time on board. All right. So if you are new, uh, maybe you're a seasoned traveler uh, with us, but maybe you're new to the cruise experience. So in terms of the Caribbean, we really break it down into different sections. So your Western Caribbean is your Costa Maya, your Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman, uh, your Jamaica, your Roatan, uh, Labadee, Haiti. Great spots to do a lot of active water sports. On the flip side, we have, of course, Eastern Caribbean, so your British and Virgin Islands. Um, and we also, a lot of times, will include uh, the Bahamas or a private island of Coco Cay in that mix. And then, uh, but certainly, yeah, the Virgin Islands, they're known for some of the best shopping in the world, but also, uh, as you can imagine, some great opportunities to get in the water and have some wonderful activities there, too. And then Southern Caribbean. So this is kind of like the sweetheart islands of, you know, just the real heart of the gorgeous Caribbean. And these would depart from San Juan. And if you're looking at uh, maybe find a really good airfare to San Juan, this is a brilliant choice. Uh, we offer seven day itineraries and it's very little time on the cruise. So if you're more in, more concerned with, I want to be seeing lots of different places. I want to check out multiple islands, uh, or maybe you're not sure how the cruise is going to feel. Uh, most of your time is, is in port. So whether you're checking out St. Kitts or Martinique or Antigua or St. Lucia, um, these just, you know, are some really incredible uh, ways to see a lot of the Caribbean in a week's time. And then another region that are, is near and dear to me because uh, it literally leaves from our backyard. So we have a year-round presence out of Baltimore, Maryland, as well as uh, Bayonne, New Jersey, or sometimes you'll hear it referred to as Cape Liberty, but that's right in uh, Bayonne, New Jersey, and has a gorgeous view of Manhattan. And um, in the summertime, we can sail to the Bahamas and also Perfect Eight Coco Cay, as well as Bermuda. So uh, a lot of times we'll do a mix of four and five day uh, Bermuda itineraries. So um, yeah, so that's a nice option too, because a lot of folks are thinking, hmm, maybe I'm looking at next summer. I'm not so sure I want to fly. Where can I drive to and where can I go? Um, now this year it was halted, but next year uh, certainly we will have Canada, New England sailings um, from Baltimore, from Bayonne, New Jersey, and also from Boston. So we got some uh, Northeast regional opportunities there. All right, so we're here to talk about family cruising and why our brand at Royal Caribbean is such a great choice and, and what is there to do on board.
All right, so a consistent um, feel for our, our cruises uh, within our, our brand at Royal Caribbean is we always know we've got amazing entertainment. And it's been interesting while we've been all working from home and even though our ships haven't been going out in the water, our uh, vice president of entertainment has uh, just been so excited because they've been working on original productions and getting their cast ready for when we have the ships in the water. So we've always got great shows going on. As you just saw in the video, amazing, really wild activities for little ones and, uh, and also, you know, uh, adults of all ages. We really believe in a lot of choices. So I'll, I'll speak to in a couple of slides, the choices for dining and nightlife. Um, also just the options for, you know, you don't want your teens bored or your little ones. So what is there to do on a ship? Because oftentimes I'll hear people are, thinking, oh, I don't want to feel bored. I don't want to feel like, you know, I, I just want to make sure there's a lot to do and then I'm entertained. If you want to take it slow and easy and just relax, we have a brilliant spa facility and workout gym. We've got incredible accommodations, whether it's, uh, you know, your standard ocean view room all the way up to these great loft suites. We have private destinations in the Caribbean, as well as great pools and activities and uh, unsurpassed service. So depending on the ship, uh, for instance, we have a ship, the Anthem of the Seas, that leaves out of Bayonne, New Jersey, and that has some unique features, one being that we have an iFly, so you can go skydiving. This is a complimentary activity, and you have a little class that you attend, and uh, yeah, you go in with your instructor, and then you have, could be about a minute or a minute and a half of free time where you can just be skydiving. On a similar uh, fleet of ships, so we have a few ships, the Ovation, the Quantum, the Anthem of the Seas. So like the iFly, we also have unique features such as this North Star. So this is a fun capsule. It goes 300 feet in the air. It's about a 20-minute experience, but it really just no pun intended, elevates your experience. The ability to see from this vantage point, just take beautiful video and photos. And uh, this is wheelchair accessible. You can sit, um, sit up to 14 people, but I would imagine too, with everything that's gonna change with social dis distancing, uh, well, I'm sure we'll see some change in those numbers. But it's uh, very spacious and um, it's just a lot of fun. And you can only imagine, you know, catching it around sunset, just how gorgeous it must be in the Caribbean. Another feature of this class of ship is that we have the Cplex. So it can be used as a basketball court. We also have uh, close to 20 bumper cars. So you can just imagine the sound and the laughing and the, you know, the bumping that's, you know, happening on the floor. We can also use the space for roller skating with some fun music too. So it's a multi-purpose area. Uh, sometimes, you know, for the teens, we might have a dodgeball game going. So something of interest for them to kind of get out and meet one another. Uh, but this is a, a great, great uh, multi-purpose space. And then, uh, believe it or not, you know, we started with the rock climbing wall and the ice skating rink, and then we added why not zip lining. So just as you can do it on our different destinations in port, uh, we also have that ability to do at sea. And again, all of these activities, be it the roller skating or the bumper cars or the zip line, uh, going in the North Star, these are all complementary. The ultimate abyss. So this is a dry slide. So in other words, of course, we're not going in a pool or you're not getting wet, uh, but it is a 10 story slide and there's two of them. So you can kind of race your friends or your family uh, and have some fun with that. So this is available on our Oasis class ships. So if you've been looking at our site or brochure and you've seen the names Symphony of the Seas or Harmony, Allure or Oasis, uh, these all have uh, different neighborhoods on board the ship and you have a beautiful, um, a beautiful uh, slide experience, both dry and with water slides. So the water slides. So for the past couple of years, we've been looking at really, you know, some of the best land destinations for families and for adults. And no doubt the pool and the water slides are just a big hit. So we've been really going through and adding those um, as the ships have been going into dry dock, uh, just in addition to the normal cosmetic um, things that we need to do with our hardware. We've been adding these great uh, redone pool areas and adding water slides. And again, no charge. 
Flowrider is another fun, uh, fun venue. We added that in 2009. And if you've never surfed at all, uh, we have instructors that will teach you. Uh, another thing too, around all of our water slides and pool areas, we have lifeguards. Uh, we even have lifeguards, you know, at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So safety is uh, of utmost importance. So if you are thinking, gosh, I'd love to, you know, now that we're getting to the point where we can take vacations again and we can be together uh, with friends and cousins and family. Um, so there are lots of things to do for all different age groups. And so some of the examples are like we have an arcade. Um, this would require like cash or using your CPAS card. Um, and that is your card that will you know, get you into your cabin as well as your car that you would use to pay for any onboard, um, anything you're buying at the gift shop or if you're booking a massage, something like that. So we have laser tag, we do have kid uh, friendly menus in all of our venues. And then of course we've got uh, kid special areas on board uh, called Splash Away Bay for their pool and water slide time. So in terms of how we really break it down, I mean, it's it's as young as six months all the way up to 17. And, you know, the teenagers have their own area that's separate from the Adventure Ocean, uh, where we really do, you know, focus on the three to five-year-olds and six to eight-year-olds and nine to 11-year-olds. So um, all of our staff have education or child development or um, like all of those uh, four-year degree backgrounds. Uh, we do triple background checks. Uh, we have one award after award for our, um, just our programming. We just have a really sound and fantastic uh, adventure ocean. And then for the teens, we do some really cool stuff. Like it's not uncommon to have our DJ come down to the teen area and, you know, teach them how to spin records, like how you take the records and you, you know, you get a whole dance party going. Now, Splash Away Bay is by our pool area, and so this is, uh, you can get, you know, splashed with buckets of, of water. You have little water slides for the, for the younger kids. Um, so this is uh, a focus in our, you know, main pool area, but just for the little ones. And again, uh, of course, lifeguards and plenty of uh, seating areas for families to watch and take plenty of photos. So in terms of the entertainment, we have incredible original production, like shows that we have written and choreographed and done on our own. And then we also have Broadway shows. So depending on the ship, if you're on the Allure, you get the chance to see Mamma Mia. Um, if you're on Symphony, you'll have Hairspray. If you're on Harmony, you'll see Grease. Uh, we will rock you if you're a fan of Freddie Mercury. This is uh, the music of Queen, uh, debuted in London's West End and has been a real big hit for us. So the full Broadway productions, the only exception is Cats. We recently uh, reduced uh, the amount of time. So it's a shortened version um, of Cats. But these are shows that we hired the singers and the performers based on the shows and their talent. So this is Broadway talent at no cost. So it's, it's, it, you talk about the value of a cruise. It's uh, really blows your mind. This is one of my favorite, hand, bar none, hands down, uh, one of my favorite places to be when you're on an Oasis class ship. And these are ships that typically uh, will leave from Florida. We do have the Oasis of the Seas uh, scheduled to leave from Bayonne, New Jersey. But this class of ship has, uh, so we have different neighborhoods and the Aqua Theater is in our boardwalk neighborhood. But this is where you can see, you know, two different high dive platforms, synchronized swimmers, aerialists, it's, it's incredible. And even to watch them uh, rehearse during the day is a lot of fun too. So it's just a great outdoor amphitheater under the stars, seeing some of the best entertainment you'll ever see at sea. And then in terms of the nightlife, so, uh, you know, if shows are not your thing and you want to be dancing or going clubbing, uh, we definitely have that. And if you want more of a salsa and merengue, uh, we have that. Uh, different lounges that you can dance or just listen to live music. We have piano bars. We have karaoke. We have nightclub dancing. Um, depending on the time of year, and if you're cruising around a major holiday, uh, we also have a lot of themed parties, which are fun. And you have those that will just spend most of their time in the casino and probably don't even know we have shows uh, to the extent that we do on board because they just want to test their luck with uh, lady luck, so to speak. 
So what this slide is really illustrating, it's uh, Bold New Adventures. So we took six ships and we really did look at uh, what the land venues do so well. And that is, you know, pools, restaurants, dining. And so we really upped our game with, uh, you know, Every, every year we take two or three ships and we literally amplify them and really um, have redone our pool areas, added more dining venues, added more water slides. And one of the ships that was amplified was the Oasis of the Seas. And this is typically a ship that would leave from Florida, but in the summertime, We'll be sailing to Perfect Day at Coco Cay and the Bahamas from Bayonne, New Jersey. So for those looking for an option where you don't have to fly, uh, please keep the Oasis of the Seas in mind. And so what we did with that ship is we added water slides. We added a beautiful lounge called the Music Hall. It uh, has wonderful live acts to listen to, and it also turns into a great nightclub at night. We've added more... Um, uh, kind of like day, uh, day beds or cabana looking um, seating areas by the pool. And then we also added a specialty dining venue uh, called Portside Barbecue. So great pulled pork and brisket. Um, and that is a la carte. So um, there's a definitely a, a charge for that. And then some of the other ships. So with the Freedom of the Seas, um, this is another one that will have a, a Northeast presence. Next summer, it will be sailing to Bermuda from Bayonne, New Jersey, as well as Canada, New England. So if you haven't done the Halifax, uh, uh, St. John, New Brunswick, that itinerary, uh, definitely is a must, um, and you can do that on the Freedom. So we've added an Italian restaurant um, that has a cover charge of $35. Uh, we've added a fun new lime and coconut uh, pool bar. It's a two level pool bar area. We have water slides and then we also added a kids uh, water slide area to splash away bay. And then the Voyager of the Seas, this is a ship that typically spends most of its time in uh, South Pacific, Australia. And with this ship, we also added water slides, a flow rider, surf simulator. We redid our, our uh, spa area. And then we also uh, gave our adventure ocean a whole new look. The Odyssey of the Seas, so what's new? What's coming next? So the Odyssey of the Seas is right now in Europe um, being built, and this will be a ship that will debut this fall. So uh, this is very much like uh, the ship that we have, uh, the Anthem of the Seas and the Quantum and the Ovation, where you have the bumper cars and you have the North Star. Uh, but we're also adding more additional features to that. So uh, on the left-hand side, you can see the bumper cars and Playmakers is our sports bar. We have SkyPad, which is, a, again, a complimentary activity to do. You've got, imagine, three trampolines in this big circular dome. You're harnessed in, but essentially you're bungee jumping. So you're all doing this all the while we're sailing at sea. Um, so we have a tempanyaki, uh, which is like a sushi, sushi Japanese restaurant. Um, and this would be a la carte. So you don't pay a cover charge, but anything off the menu, you'll you know, just pay as you go. A Loco Fresh is the yummiest, uh, most delicious Mexican uh, food to eat by the pool, and it's no charge. So if you're feeling like burritos or tacos or you know, build a great plate of nachos, you can do all of that at no charge. And then we also redid the, um, we redesigned the pool, pool area for the Odyssey uh, for the ship. So we don't have the exact date, but we are estimating um, around the November timeframe. And this will be a ship that will leave from Fort Lauderdale. It'll alter alternate uh, seven day cruises. So one week it'll do Western Caribbean to Grand Cayman, Cozumel, um, even Aruba. So a little bit of a different itinerary than we typically see for Western Caribbean. And then we'll also do um, an Eastern Caribbean going to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. All right, so in terms of dining, so we have, um, again, lots of choices. We know people like choices. So if you want a set dining time, we have that. If you just want to show up at the dining room at any time you want each night between five and eight, you can do that. And we'll seat you up. We have tables for two, tables for eight or 10. And if you want to go, let's say you're in the mood for uh, just a big salad or uh, maybe a slice of pizza, we have complimentary dining throughout the ship. If you want to eat in your suite, uh, we can do that course by course. Of course, you can uh, order room service. Um, the room service, other than the continental breakfast, which is complimentary, uh, there is um, $7.95 to order room service. And then we have different specialty dining as well, uh, like our Italian restaurant or our steakhouse. 
And then uh, other ideas for complimentary. So some of our ships have a dog house, which is hot dogs with any kind of topping you can imagine. No charge for that. Uh, we have different cafe areas for great sandwich salads and paninis. Uh, we have Sorrento's, which you can get a great Greek salad and a slice of pizza and our wind jammer, of course. Um, and this is all complimentary. Other things too, if you are thinking about bringing, uh, you know, little kids and uh, families of all ages, we do have family friendly uh, dining options in the main dining room. So if you let the Adventure Ocean staff know, you can go to the dining room and after 45 minutes, so the kids will get an expedited dining experience, the Adventure Ocean staff will wait at the dining room and then they'll, you know, take them. Uh, so they'll have some fun activities to enjoy. And then the adults can remain at the table and enjoy their dinner at their leisure. And then in terms of accommodations, so as you can imagine, everything from rooms with no windows, uh, we have rooms that overlook different views like uh, our Central Park neighborhood or our main promenade. And then of course we have ocean view uh, and also our balconies or so ocean views uh, with your own private balcony to enjoy. I'm gonna take it another step further. So if you want even more sitting area space and a larger balcony, you can opt for the junior suite or we even have uh, larger suite areas like the owner suite or the aqua theater suite. Aqua theater suites actually overlook that amazing amphitheater where we have our water shows. And then a couple years ago, we came up with the idea that, hey, what if we had an upstairs and a downstairs? So then we came up with these gorgeous lofts. And then recently on the symphony, we introduced the ultimate family suite, which has uh, different bedrooms. You can accommodate up to eight people, but it's this marriage of, you know, family activities and luxury uh, all, all in one. So there's an air hockey table and there's like a gaming station area. And uh, just, it's a, again, fun mixed with luxury. All right, so some of the other things too, we do, uh, our suites have totally upgraded pillow top mattresses. Depending on the suite that you're getting, uh, you might have bottled water or sparkling water upon your arrival. You also have, um, you know, our, our top suites have butler service. You have your beverage package included, your internet package included, all of your specialty dining is included. Um, you have additional dining venues that you can eat at, such as Coastal Kitchen. So it's a much, um, only has 180 passengers. So on a big, big, big ship, it's a very intimate sitting, sitting uh, dining area. Um, so again, lots of choices and lots of ample space to just kind of spread out and uh, enjoy yourself. So two things that we get asked about a lot, beverage packages and internet packages. So the one being the internet package. So we charge uh, $17, uh, roughly it's like $17.99 per device uh, per day. So, but the, the service is lightning fast. Uh, it's not like it was uh, years ago where you, you know, just have to wait and be like, oh my gosh, am I gonna get a connection? So the internet service is, uh, is very fast. And then for the beverage packages too, I always encourage, you know, talk with your uh, travel counselor at Whitaker and Dupre or Just Cruises, and they can explain the pricing. Uh, but typically our all-inclusive beverage package uh, runs about $65 uh, per person per day. And if you purchase that before you cruise, we always are running specials. So usually it starts at 20% off, but throughout the year, we have deeper discounts for the beverage packages too. But we have water packages, non-alcoholic beverage packages. Uh, so there's lots of lots of options. Um, and then you may decide, you know what? I'm not sure I even need a beverage package. Maybe I'll just pay as I go. So those are great conversations to have with your travel uh, counselor, and uh, and then they can make a help you make a good decision about that. All right, so I know we're talking about Caribbean, but just want to put a little plug in for our Alaska itineraries. Uh, so next summer, we'll be back up and running in Alaska, and we do have cruise tours uh, with families in mind. So um, we might do overnights um, in Talkeetna, which means a shorter train ride in between Denali and Anchorage. So uh, we do have some great uh, activities with the Science Center and the Anchorage Museum. So some really good things uh, to consider there. All right, so before we're winding down with our slides before we talk about Perfect Day at Coco Cay, but I also wanted to let you know, since we are uh, speaking about families today, you have the option, if you're sailing out of Orlando, 
to do uh, some pre or post land stays at Universal Studios. And it includes the transfers from the airport to the park, uh, your hotel accommodations at the park, um, you know, early uh, park admission to Harry Potter's Wizarding World, uh, free express, or, sorry, Universal Express passes uh, when you're staying at the resorts that we partner with. So if you're doing a three, four, or a seven day cruise out of Port Canaveral, you do have that option. So if you wanted to mix uh, land and sea, you can do that out of Orlando. And something new that is gonna debut in 2021, this is happening in Antigua. It is the first time we are gonna do an actual beach club collection uh, with one of our ports of call. So we're gonna have a lot of regional uh, antique and fair, uh, live music, island style barbecues, uh, paddle boarding, will be wave runners, um, there'll be a swim up bar. So that's all in the works right now and we will be debuting this uh, in 2021. All right, so my last uh, feature is Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And we, it's so appropriately called that because it really is. It is your choice if you want to just relax and chill by the water or if you want to have just an amazing day of thrills. We deliver that. So the first thing, and I like this slide because it does show you, the first thing that we decided to do was build a pier. It was imperative that we have a way to dock right at the island, even though we've been going there for years, but we always had to tender. And based on the wind conditions, it wasn't always possible to call on the private island. So this is a view, if you were coming off the ship, you've got this colorful, really pretty uh, dock area. We do have transfers that run all day, complimentary from the ship all the way around the island. And they usually seat, um, you know, could be up to 12 people. Again, all those numbers can change now that we're uh, more, you know, in tune with social distancing guidelines. Um, but based on everything up until now, this is, you know, how, how it's been. So you've got that mix of, rest and relaxation and pool and just chill opportunities. And then you have the more active uh, water park, wave pool, and so on. So the blue, anything blue and teal shaped, that indicates uh, it's a beach area or it's a, one of our largest pool areas um, that you can just kind of enjoy and unwind. And it's all complimentary, the beaches and the pool. The water park area, so Thrill Water Park, there is a charge for that. So depending on the time of year, if, if kids are in school and it's a slower season, uh, the price could run you 40 bucks. Like I was on in September and got to go to Perfect Day Coco Cay. And the eight, hour, uh, eight hours that we were there, it was only, I think it was $44. Typically, the Thrill Water Park Pass, though, is going to run you around, you know, between $75 and $80. Um, and then again, we do have dynamic pricing. So over a school break or Christmas, don't be surprised if, it's, if the price is a little bit higher. Each ship can determine, based on how well the, that park uh, admission is selling, they can determine to raise the price or lower the price. So let's just dive a little bit deeper. So the nice part is for families with little ones, the kids' thrills are complimentary. So this splash away bay, these little water slides, the big buckets that get them wet, um, the whole seating area around this kids' area, it's complimentary. And then we also have Captain Jill's Galleon, which is a big pirate ship with uh, guns that spray water, and you've got some little water slides. And again, this whole area, Splash Away Bay and Captain Jill's Galleon, is complimentary. It's just another aerial shot of Splash Away Bay. This is such a hit. This is, again, complimentary. It's our Oasis Lagoon Swim Up Bar. It goes from zero inches deep to just under four feet. So you know, a lot of times I'll just walk around and just walk around in the water just because it feels so good. There's great music playing. If you want to walk up to, um, you know, this, this uh, straw hut and grab a beverage of choice, you can do that. Or you might grab a seat if you want right in the water and enjoy your beverage. There's, uh, it's just such a real amazing, amazing uh, day at the pool. And then if you want more space to yourself and you love the idea of having a personal attendant uh, that you can order food with or get your beverages, we have cabanas all throughout the island uh, in various pricing. So it starts at $2.99 and that would be for $2.99 for six people, depending on the location of the cabana. So it could run you up to you know, $5.69, but this is just another option. There's plenty of seats with, um, or sorry, chairs with umbrellas, 
So um, if you didn't want a cabana and you're worried about, oh, is there a lot of space um, you know, to grab a chair? Uh, there's so many wonderful spots that you can you know, grab some shade and you don't have to worry about you know, finding a spot or getting off the ship early to find a location to uh, seat yourself for the day. So we have different beach areas that are all complimentary. Um, so our chill experience uh, at the beach, you can go to Chill Island, you can go to Harbor Beach. Um, so we have, you know, sometimes I'll spend a couple hours at each beach and then I'll just kind of, you know, meander and, and check out other areas. And then the Thrill Water Park. So we have, uh, again, up to 21 cabanas um, in this Thrill Water Park. And as I mentioned before, there is an admission fee to get into the water slides and the wave pool area. And so again, that runs ballpark around 75 to 80 bucks for the eight hours that we're in Thrill Water Park. But we have everything from water slides that are as tall as 125 feet high, they go 60 miles an hour. Uh, we have raft water slides, we have a wave pool. And then in addition to the park admission pass, if you wanted to do our helium balloon, that goes up 450 feet high, or if you wanted to do the zip line, there's an additional cost for that. So that could run you, could be, you know, 50 to 70 bucks addition. The wave pool is uh, also, if I'm not on the water slides, I'm here at the wave pool. It's, uh, it's so much fun. There are lifeguards, there's great music, and all these umbrellas and chairs, that's all complimentary. And then you can see we have also uh, different cabanas. So if you want more privacy, and again, you love the idea of having an attendant that'll go get your food and your beverages, uh, you can enjoy that too. So these are just some different shots of, uh, you know, in our Thrill Water Park, we have like this obstacle course adventure pool. We have uh, raft water slides in addition to uh, our Daredevil's Tower where you saw a lot of the, uh, there's like nine different water slides all uh, intertwined with one another. And then the food. So uh, we have a lot of different snack shacks that you can go in and grab the yummiest hamburgers and like a brioche roll, juicy chicken sandwich, uh, huge Greek salads uh, with chicken, warm chocolate chip cookies and um, funnel cakes. And then in addition to those snack shacks, we have these grills. And these are big uh, pavilion areas where you can get anything from Philly cheesesteaks to a taco bar to uh, you know hamburger hot dogs off the grill, huge salads bar, salad bars, uh, a great fruit buffet. So these are complimentary. The one spot that isn't is Captain Jack's and that is a bar area um, that you can, we do sell uh, chicken wings and french fries and those are six dollars. But all the times I've been to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, I never went to Captain Jack's because there were so many different options between the different grill areas and then the snack shacks all throughout the island. Um, though it does, um, it, I also get asked a lot about beverage packages. If you purchased a beverage package on the ship, then that also works on the island. So you don't have to worry about paying for drinks if you have a beverage package. And it says that right on your CPAS card, so we know that. And then if you have the internet package from our ship, um, internet service does work on the island as well. And then this January, we launched our Cocoa Beach Club. So if you want even more space to yourself, this is more like an exclusive neighborhood uh, with its own specialty restaurant and, uh, you know, over the water cabanas are probably the biggest thing that you notice um, when you see this area. All right, I was just looking at my time. I know we're over our 30 minutes. So I just have a few more slides and then we will take your questions. But uh, so yeah, this special neighborhood um, on Perfect Day at Coco Cay is uh, set up with floating cabanas that accommodate um, up to eight people. You have your own personal attendant. Uh, there's, uh, uh, let's see, there's different power uh, areas. So if you wanna you know, charge your phone or get plugged in, you can do that right from your floating cabana. There's a hammock, as you can see this guy uh, sitting in. And so again, um, 
these are up to eight people. And so the cost for those eight people, so it starts uh, from $9.99 for the cabana for the day. And then just to give you an idea, so you've got, you know, really everything from, I've got your power outlets, it comes with towels and a cooler, a slide, a hammock, uh, and just a lot of space to just, um, you know, find, pretend you're in Fiji or some incredible destination around the world uh, and just enjoy this gorgeous color of the water. So we have our over the water cabanas and we have our beach cabanas within this Cocoa Beach Club area. So again, can accommodate up to eight guests. Um, so the, the beach cabanas um, start from $5.49. Again, that's for all eight people. And so in your cabana price, that includes the admission to this Cocoa Beach Club. And again, similar, you've got your, your, um, you know, your mini bar, uh, you can lock up storage so you can go hang out in the water, not worry about your goods, uh, your cooler, you've got concierge service, and you just got the water just but a few steps away. We have a special clubhouse with an infinity pool and a restaurant. And the restaurant has an elevated menu. So you've got everything from, uh, you know, fresh grouper and lobster and filet mignon. And uh, so again, it's, we realize it's not gonna be for everyone, but we love having that choice option. So for those, just like being on board our ships, some are gonna opt for a balcony, some might want an ocean view, some might want the suite. So we, we uh, have all of those options on our private island as well. All right, so I've got uh, three more slides, then I'm gonna turn it over to Cindy for questions. But our June offer, so we have uh, buy one guest and your second passenger is 60% off. And then if you do have a third person or fourth person in your stateroom, they are 30% off. If you have kids 12 and younger, they, are, uh, they sail for free. So again, um, you just wanna check because it, depending on the sailing, so school break or Christmas, it would not apply, but, um, but yeah, so we have that promotion, kids sale free for the month of June. And then we're also running, in addition to our other offers, um, a lot of dollars off sales throughout the month. So right now we have an additional uh, up to $150 off uh, the sailing, and that's based on how long of a cruise you're taking and the stateroom that you're in. And then, um, so we've got our Just Cruises and Whitaker and Dupre, our exclusive offers with them. So they have a promotion that we run year long. If you buy a balcony and it's on a seven night or longer cruise, you get on board our cruise, a specialty dining experience for two. So you can go to our Italian restaurant or a steakhouse and that is on, uh, that's on us. And if you book a junior suite or higher category, you get the specialty dining for two plus one complimentary spa treatment. So we have that going on through the end of the year, and it's on any seven night or longer cruise. Uh, and then, of course, as long as it's open for sale, uh, it's applicable. And then, um, let's see. All right, so that wraps up our presentation. And I, again, I thank you so much. Thank you to my hosts, uh, Just Cruises and Whittaker and Dupre, and also to all of you for your time. And uh, Cindy, let me know if we have any questions. Okay, I'm not about that. Sure. It just there we go. Took a minute <laughs> to unmute myself. <laughs> um, but thank you. That presentation made me want to just get right on a ship right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. Uh, every part of it. I couldn't decide what I liked more. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But we did have some questions coming in as you were chatting, so I'm going to go ahead and ask them. Okay. Um, for your Aqua Show, yeah. that looks like a place I would absolutely love and find myself there often. Um, but do you need reserved seating for that? Oh, that's a great question. Thank you for bringing that up. Because uh, people will ask the same thing about our Broadway shows. And we recommend it. Um, so we, again, those, uh, the Broadway shows and the Aqua shows, those are on our Oasis class ships. So again, that would be the Symphony, it would be the Harmony, Allure, and the Oasis. Uh, we recommend it, but honestly, um, so let's see, I guess it was 2016, I went with my dad and we did not book anything in advance because I wanted to see how hard or easy is it to get into our shows, even our ice skating shows. Um, so what we do is uh, 
we'll scan your CPAS card. So again, this is your card that's going to you know, get you into your cabin as well as, you know, it's like all of your information is on that card. If you buy anything, you show your CPAS card. And so any reservation, we scan your CPAS card and then you can sit wherever you want. 10, actually 10 to 15 minutes before every show, we stop scanning. So you can sit wherever. So actually, um, that's what we did. I did not make any reservations. It's recommended, but it's not absolutely essential because there are some that will say, I don't know, if I'm going to want to go to the show after dinner. Or, um, not sure, you know, uh, but there's no cost to make a reservation or to hold that. We do uh, repeat the shows throughout the week. And um, so I got to see the show a, a couple of times because I was like, you know what, the show's coming out in a couple minutes. I'll just, you know, just before it started, we got in. So I would say it's recommended. Um, but if you don't have a reservation, you know, don't worry. Um, you can always get in a couple minutes before. Okay, great. And then a um, couple other questions. The pier in Bayonne, there is parking at that pier? Yes. So a couple of years ago, we added a parking garage. So it's, uh, I want to say it's $19 a day to park. So it's a secured parking garage. It's right there, uh, right at the pier. Because before it was just, it was an open lot. And uh, I mean, you still had to, to park. Um, but this is all, it's, it's a brand new garage uh, right at the terminal. Yeah, great. I think actually, I, I actually knew that answer because I had driven down and parked oh, before okay. the lot was there years ago. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yep in an open lot okay and then uh, another question um in your family suite that just looks amazing uh, yeah. a couple questions there one was that a slide in that family suite and two yes. how many people fit into that suite how much bedding is there yeah so you can you can um oh let's see so like the kids have their own room the parents would have their own room and then you also have um the bedding down in the couches that we could um open up for um, you know, if you wanted to put two people in a sofa bed, so it would easily be six for the family suite. Um, but yeah, there is, I mean, even on the outside balcony, there is a hammock and there's like this little, uh, climbing area. Um, but yeah, you can play air hockey and you can, you know, the kids, uh, instead of taking the stairs from upstairs to downstairs, they can take the slide. Um, if you want to have like a family movie night, there's, you know, a huge, uh, flat screen TV. You can also play games with each other. There's like a huge, um, connect four. It's like this massive oversized connect four that you can play. So yeah, it's, it's a fun, um, uh, fun, luxurious way to spend time for the family. That is so cool. So cool. Mm -hmm. All right, then our last question. Um, how many ships can go into Coco Cay on a particular day? So is it just one, one uh, ship there or are there several? You know, and I was thinking about this um, when I was looking at that picture. So it would be, so it's just for Royal Caribbean. So for instance, like our sister brands, uh, like Celebrity, or I mean, they, they, don't, they don't go there, they would go somewhere else. Um, so it, it can be up to two ships, but uh, you know, we're in this stage where things are changing and, and we don't even know in terms of capacity, um, you know, how full our ships will be. So it's always um, been communicated that like, we would never have two of our largest ships there at one time. So you might have a smaller ship like the Grandeur that sails from Baltimore and maybe a larger ship like the Oasis of the Seas. Um, but we, you know what? So we'll see. I mean, it's always been no more than two ships, but I am curious to see how that will change. If they'll limit it to one, how they'll, you know, we're all kind of, um, uh, you know, creating a new normal. So uh, we'll see how that looks, you know, when we are back to service. But up until now, it's been up to two ships. Awesome. All right. Well, again, Susan, thank you so much. You guys have really thought through your ships. I really have to say it, it is a cruise for everyone. And that's exactly what I tell my clients. It doesn't matter the age, doesn't matter how many generations are going to be cruising on that particular yeah. ship. Everybody will, will have a good time and they'll find something for themselves mm -hmm. there. So we really appreciate you coming on and sharing that with us on behalf of Just Cruises Incorporated and Winnicare and Dupre. Thank you so much. And guests, thank you so much for joining in today, all of our clients. Um, we really appreciate having you. Um, we're also going to put this up on YouTube. So if you didn't get the whole thing or you missed part of it, feel free to go and watch it up on our YouTube channels. And if you had a question that I didn't get to, feel free to contact your advisor or any advisor at Just Cruises Incorporated or Whitaker and Dupre, and we'd be happy to get that answer to you. Um, 
And remember, we are open. We are ready to get you on a Royal Caribbean International Voyage. So give us a call. We'll help you pick out the right itinerary for you. We'll help you pick out the right dates. So we are uh, standing by and ready. So, all right, everybody have a really great evening. And thanks again, Susan. You are just fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye.